Life of Pixel. Here we go. So this is a game from Super Icon, which I believe is a British developer. It is, as it says on the screen, a journey through video game history, although a lot of it is weird UK microcomputer history, but hey, it's still cool. So you play as a Pixel, who's going through the history of gaming, and it's pretty darn interesting, actually. Uh, it's seven bucks right now, I believe, from the developer's website. Vote for it on Greenlight. This is a game that's of extremely high quality and really should be on Steam right now. So uh, go vote for it on Greenlight if you like what you see. I'm just going to play through some of the levels at random. I've played a bit of the game, uh, just to kind of dip a toe into it, but I uh, haven't played a ton of it. Mostly I've just been skipping around to the different systems that I like and just sort of seeing what they're like. Uh, so, but yeah, this is what you got. This is your complement of stuff. Uh, like I said, weird uh, microcomputers that uh, I've never heard of. BBC Micro. Oh, I've heard of. Uh, I've heard of the Spectrum. I've heard of the Micro. Uh, you know, I've heard of the Com uh, Commodore 64. You know. But you've also got yeah, Game Boy, NES, SNES, Amigas. Uh, I believe there's an Apple IIe and maybe a Master System. Uh, which would make sense if they are British, of course, having the Master System and uh, the Mega Drive as uh, sort of the, the holdbacks, because uh, those were pretty popular systems over there, from what I understand. So, yeah. Let's just jump into it. I'm just going to play a little bit. Probably not going to talk that much. Just going to play. Kind of see what's going on, get an idea of uh, the, the, the kind of the hook of the game, which is that every one of these has its own distinct graphical style, and it's really really impressive that they did so much for this. Uh, here we go. So Gavin Harrison, music by Gavin Harrison. I believe it's a mix of music. It's not all Gavin Harrison music, uh, but yeah, love Gavin Harrison's work. All right, so yeah, we need to collect these little things and we need to get to the exits, uh, but we also need to collect that little flashing thing in the corner because that's a special secret item. There we go. And if you get all of the little gems, or if you get to certain uh, plateaus on those special collectibles, you will unlock additional systems. And I believe I've played a fair amount of this system, so I am moving on. Yeah, this system totally foreign to me. Looks like a Tiger electronic game as far as, far as I can tell. Uh, so let's go, uh, let's back out to the menu and let's try ourselves some other system. Let's see, 2600. I played a fair bit of the 2600. I guess I could go ahead and finish it up. Uh, let's just go ahead. We'll just start from the beginning. Like I said, I'll just kind of give you a guided tour of the different systems. Take a look at them, see what you think. I mean, graphically, I think the style, I think it's right on. <laughs> you know. Ah, uh, I keep forgetting. It's always one of those funny things when you have a double jump in a game, whether or not you can do an air, like a mid-air jump without having jumped. You know you know what I mean? It's, it's always a little bit weird. You do have two hits you can take. It's always weird figuring out whether or not you can do that little, you know, I can't, if I drop off the edge, can I, can I jump? I can't. I can't jump in midair, but you can double jump. Just, it's a weird little bit of difference between how they, how they set up the character, you know? I think I have to say I prefer the ability to do that midair jump, uh, regardless of whether you've jumped the first time or not, but it's not a huge complaint. It's not even really a complaint. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible to get both of those in one... one trip into the spike pit. So, you know, I am uh, taking some of the most inefficient routes. <laughs> Clearly not speedrunning Life of Pixel here. Clearly. I 
I do find sometimes it's a little bit difficult to figure out where I'm starting on some of these levels. I kind of look at it for a second usually and think like, where, where am I? There we go. Hello, Mr. Bat. Yeah, I think the fidelity of some of this stuff is is right on with the system that they're emulating, especially... I mean, I played a ton of Atari 2600 as a kid, and it's bringing back definite memories here. I mean, I don't know if they actually constrain themselves to what those systems would absolutely be, be capable of, or, you know, whether they just did an, appro an approximation of that. But I'm impressed, uh, nonetheless. It's always one of those things that comes up when you have a game that's trying to very specifically emulate retro style. You know, is it actually 8-bit? Are they using colors that wouldn't actually be in 8-bit? Uh, yeah, great music, great music. Uh, is it actually using colors that are outside the 8-bit palette? Is it really 16-bit? I don't care. They're hitting the look. They've got exactly what I want. I also like that it, it doesn't actually start until you uh, move. Like that the timer doesn't start till you move. So, you know, if you did want to speed run, it would be not too difficult to reset your runs. Okay. Little aliens hovering around in corn dog baskets. Okay. Oops. Hey, I was on the edge. There we go. I didn't think that jump was actually going to make it. You notice the percent isn't going up because I'm going through going through levels I've already been through before, so. Oh, hey, it's Old Man Pixel. Ah, I dozed off for a minute there. Rumor has it there's a tunnel entrance to a secret forest around here. Hmm. Well. Very interesting. I wonder if by around here he means in this level, or just in general. Oh, that's a spike. <laughs> Don't hit that. Now, I wonder if it has anything to do with melting away all of this. Nope. Well, maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe I can't make that jump now. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and get all this stuff. I've, I've got no words for that. I got nothing. All right, let's go this way. Yeah, I went crazy. I guess he got a taste of pixel flesh. Went absolutely crazy. Okay. Hey, there it is. Look at that. Haha. <laughs> oh, it looks just like Pitfall. Ooh, a popsicle. Mmm. Interesting. Okay. Got a magic popsicle. I'll take that. Keep on moving. All right. I hesitated. Want that little sparkly thing. Wow. I was so proud of myself that I got it. So proud. All right. Th 
the uh, the jump feels pretty good so far. Oh, moving on. Okay, Spectrum. So the jump feels pretty good. Uh, it's you got you got some air control. I like a jump with some air control. Uh, you stop on a dime with the movement. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, maybe I'm just a weirdo, but I like a little bit of play. I like a little bit of momentum in my platformer. Uh, so I do like it when there's a, just a little bit of something. Just a, just a little bit of carryover of momentum. Doesn't have to be a lot. There are definitely games that overdo it. Okay, uh, what is, isn't it some, uh, some walls are not quite as they seem. Well, I figured that out from the last level where I jumped through that wall. Ow. Some walls are not as they seem. Did it again! I did it again. Yeah. Some walls are not as they seem, but these walls are as they seem. go. More random fruit treats. Okay. Yeah, I have no knowledge of or nostalgia for the spectrum uh, other than, you know, knowing that it exists. Having heard the name mentioned in the past. Am I going down here or up? What was that? I was in a bubble there for a second. What? <laughs> oh yeah. My car can jump. I like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. A little bubble mechanic. Not too bad. Interesting that they're throwing something different at the, uh, at you here. It's not just all jumping. Oh, I don't like those spikes. Not at all. Wait for them to reset again. Okay, here we go. They did that on purpose. They did that on purpose. Not cool. Okay, I don't have to get the bubble. Okay. There we go. Made it through. Gravity flip. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey, cool. I'm all for that. I am all for games that vary their mechanics. And it is actually interesting because if you're starting from the beginning, you'd be in encountering this mechanic at the point where you just start to kind of get bored of... Whoops. 
of just jumping. So the bubble, the electric car, the gravity flipping mechanic, they're all coming in at a really good time. Gravity? I don't know. I don't remember what anything down here looked like. Okay, I hit some kind of gravity switcher. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, that's not what I want. <laughs> that's not the way I want gravity to be oriented when I make that uh, jump right there. Okay, they're retracting spikes. Oh, portal! No! Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. You had me there for a second. Goodness. Okay. It's also interesting that as the whoa, as the uh, systems presumably become more powerful, the mechanics change and increase. I really like that concept. There we go. That was. A, I really like that. I feel like that should have been like one of the first gravity levels, because that one was really. It felt smooth. I don't know. What do I know? Still not 100% sure how those alien guys determine their movement. What did I... What did I hit? Okay, there are spikes there. Maybe I hit the spikes. Hard to say. Hello, crab. Interesting enemy design. I mean, these enemies look like they would be in an 8 or 16-bit game. Okay. I wonder if that discoloration on the clouds is intentional. I mean, it must be. I mean, I wonder if they're emulating something on the original system when they do that. There we go. I was worried that I missed one back there. Monster Palace. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. Vertical scroll. What did I miss? What did I miss? Missed something somewhere. Oh, is there a... no? Hmm, okay.
Alright, so what did I miss? Oh, okay. Well, that was interestingly hidden. What was that? Okay. Weird. Okay, there's a counter in the lower left-hand corner showing me how many... how many of these diamonds I have left to collect. Okay. That's helpful. Okay, so... I pressed some kind of a button. I don't know. You know, probably I don't have to go up there and get those just yet. So I can hear something counting down. Oh, okay. Secret door. I see. There's no reason to get hit there. No reason at all. Yeah, I like the labyrinthian nature of this level, although I have to say I'm... It's very much a trial and error. Alright. Go mash my button. Hey, guy. Watch your footing. Okay. Ah, okay. So that's what my timer was counting down. Alright, let's just go get all of our bits and pieces here. And then we can try that secret door one time. I'm not going to go crazy here on that secret door. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Hey, we made it. And there's a toilet in here. Okay. This is a really big level compared to everything that's come before it. Like, I just I can't help but notice that this level is huge by comparison. A bed? Oh, hello. I don't like you one bit. How am I supposed to get around you? Ah, good lord. Okay, let's just... Let's just figure out how to get out of this level. Okay, so I can go over there first.
Okay, let's collect all of our diamonds. Nothing over here, no secrets, nope. Yeah, it's one of those interesting things that, like, I have no memories or affection or nostalgia for the system at all, so this level could very well be making very specific references that are just not landing for me. But that's, that's how nostalgia works, you know? I have nostalgia for things you don't have nostalgia for, and etc, etc. Having not owned this system, I have no nostalgia for any of the games on the system, but that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate, certainly. Oh, that was lucky. I can't, I can appreciate the aesthetic. Definitely appreciate the aesthetic. But I think I'll be much more, more likely to get their direct references when I get to the systems that I actually have experience with. Yeah, so that was a big change as far as level design. That was a huge level with a lot going on. Layers of doors <laughs> unlocking and timing-based puzzles. Ooh, okay, that was interesting. I do like the way, though, that the levels are working themselves up here, getting bigger as we go forward. I do find myself, whoa, I do find myself getting a little bit lost at times. Hello, crabs. Uh, oh, I didn't... I guess I didn't pay attention that there were spikes over there, too. Oh, well. Okay, so I need to collect all of these bits and pieces before I go over there. Whoops. In a perfect world, I'm arriving at the top of this structure with all of the diamonds intact. So all I need to do is just get out of the exit. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting for spikes. All in great distances, okay. Okay, so there was one over here somewhere. Right there. And we just need to evade spikes and crabs. Finish out this level, there we go. I really, I really enjoy this game. I mean, it's, the nostalgia thing is great. All the different art styles, it's, it's mind-blowing the amount of work that went into this game. But it's just a solid game. I mean, even without the gimmick, this would be a fun game. And that's always, when a game has a gimmick, for me, that's always the number one measure of whether or not it's a worthwhile game. It's like, if you took away the gimmick, would it still be fun? And the answer is absolutely yes. What's that? Oh, that was just another of those famous graphical glitches. Okay. Just looked really weird the way it was sitting on that planet. So where am I? Oh no, that's gonna spike. Too many spikes. Oh, there's a fruit down there, but forget about it. Can't do it. Ah, the BBC Micro, a system that I've heard a whole lot about, never played. I mean, I'm not going to have played any of these British microcomputers, so, you know, kind of just goes without saying. I like the... I like the blue outline around the pixel a whole lot. Go... Not breaking any time records here, but feels good. I like it.
like these little aliens. They look like the, uh, a bit like the Simpsons aliens. But, you know, those Simpsons aliens were no doubt borrowing visually from aliens from, you know, what I've been. The 40s? I don't know. That's a tough jump. I don't think I want to chance it. I, w I want that, but I don't... I don't trust my own skills. What do you gotta say, Mr. Pixel? Or Professor? P doctor? Whatever your... Whatever your title is. Uh, some of the walls around here look a little broken. Perhaps it's worth uh, taking a closer look. Hmm. Maybe next time. When I come back to get that uh, power-up. We'll see. Music continues to be outstanding. And I actually love the fact that they're using the same enemies. And you're getting to see those enemies evolve. I mean, I'm sure that that's absolutely 100% what they intend. But it's absolutely great to see those enemies actually evolve here. Return of the gravity switching mechanic, okay. I wasn't sure if the floor was going to spike me or if the ceiling was going to spike me. I should have known it was going to be the ceiling. Oh, that ghost is freaking out. Figure out where you're going, guy. All right. Drop it down here. Oh, let's not do that. Poor timing. I wonder what happens if I do get out of there with the gravity. Huh. The part of my brain that thinks maybe there's a secret. Oh, there's a spy. Oh. Hidden behind the UI. Well, not hidden, I guess. But obscured, certainly. I don't think it was malicious. Let's see. Anything cool? Any kind of a secret? Come on, help me out here. Give me something. Give me something to work with. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Oh well. Nice little timing challenge here with the bats. Alright. I'm kind of on the fence about how this game handles those little collectibles. Uh, I'm bad, so in one way, the fact that if you collect them at all, even if you don't complete the run, they you retain them is good for a player like me, <laughs> certainly, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about that design decision as, as someone who doesn't design Jack. Um, you know, I'm glad that I've got that, that I don't have to, to reacquire that and get through the level alive with that special power. Oh, move back? Come on. Oh, see, this bat is just trolling me. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that I don't have to... That bat, man. I'm glad that I don't have to do that again and get the get the power up, or get the uh, collectible. But yeah, it's just, it's one of those... You, you don't really risk anything. Like, I can die getting the collectible, and it doesn't matter. 
really. I mean, I guess it's one more death on my, my, you know, death, lives, lives lost count, but... Okay, whatever. Hello? What was down here? Death? Yes. Yes, death. Death is down there. Should have known. Oh, yeah, right, you can look down. Stupid me. Maybe don't do that. Maybe actually, you know, collect that? Yeah, I kind of, uh, I kind of like that. The way that they've positioned those, uh, the way that they've positioned those diamonds, forcing you to, ow? possibly for the first time, kind of explore some of the possibilities with how your jump works. Oh, these guys, just there's no rhyme or reason, I mean, to how these guys work. I'm sure that there is, and I'm just not picking up on it, <laughs> but that's what it feels like. It feels like I have no idea how those enemies work. All right, yeah, using our looking down ability. Feeling good. Uh, probably going to get hit going through here, you know. Because again, I'm not good at discerning patterns. So as far as I'm concerned, those robot spaceship body guys are a total mystery. The Citadel. Alright, I don't like you because you shoot at me. Oh, you shoot at me no matter... Okay, you're, you're crafty, I see. You can track me. Can't jump off the ladder. Okay. Okay. There we go. What you got? Feeling my bones. Secrets. Okay, so nothing wrong with secrets. Oh, secrets indeed. Okay, I got a magical popsicle or whatever. Awesome. Not happy about that one. Okay, do I need to collect the popsicle again? No. Okay. Again, like I said, I'm... I'm not sure personally about that decision? I mean, again, as a bad player, I sure do like it. But I feel like there might be more challenge if you didn't have to collect it. I mean, if you had to collect it. Oh. Oh, I'm not gonna make that. Oh, there's a little spot at the end, okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take a quick tour here of some of the other... I keep hitting my hand on my desk. Knuckles, killing me. Just have it reach around my microphone to hit escape, because for some reason my controller doesn't want to actually control the menus here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do... I'm just going to hit the ones that I want to see. Uh, yeah, I want to see the Game Boy. I want to see... The NES and the Super NES, so let's just check them out. Yeah, I love I love the facts and everything. Oh, 
Hello. I like that song. Oh, I really like this song. Okay, we got a diamond up there, but I can't reach it. Okay. Come on, bats. There you go. I love the look. The aesthetic of the Game Boy is... I don't know if it's 100% right on, but it certainly looks like the Game Boy. This song is great. Absolutely great. Oh, no, no, no. This is... Oh. Do I just have to wait these crabs out? I don't think it's possible to get through there. Yes, I... Oh, come on. I think I just have to wait these crabs out. I feel like I'm going through a conveyor belt or something. I don't mind. I don't mind moving slow through this level. Just enjoying that music. Oh, okay, that stuff disappears. Alright, crabs, you gotta speed up a little bit. I don't want to die at this point because I don't want to have to do the crab walk again. So I need this bat to figure out what he's doing. There we go. Okay, good, good. I would have been a bit disheartened if I had died there. Castle of Evil. So these spikes seem to wait a little longer. Oh, hello. Oh, bouncy. Another new mechanic. All right, cool. Very cool. There's no way. Crabs. Okay, this one doesn't have spikes on it. That's how you can make it, okay. Oh, idle animation from the from the pixel there. Huh. Alright. Let's pay attention. Oh, don't do that, Pixel. You're going to make me yawn. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There we go. Okay, that was scary. Oh, I didn't have to grab those as I went. I just did the gravity thing. Okay. I made that a lot harder on myself than it had to be. Is it spikes? No. Okay. Spikes? No. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, that's, that's actually making it easier on myself. Okay. Uh, spikes. No. Oh, okay. Good. I like that skull in the background. Very nice. Just the sheer amount of work, artistically, that had to go into this game. Oh, I can't make it! Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, wait, am I... Oh, am I stuck? Ah! No! All right, 
right. Lesson learned, I guess. I already collected this, so I don't have to go back up here. That's right. All right. I'm gonna do like one more Game Boy level then. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think we got the gist of it. Do a couple of NES levels, do a couple of Super Nintendo levels. Okay, I did dabble in a couple of these. Thought I did. Yeah, the facts and stuff, I love it. I don't know if this game has any possible issues with just outright using names and likenesses of these systems, but, you know, who am I to say? In this Sue happy world, though, you never know. People sure do like litigation. If you see a flashing star, why jump onto it? Release something special? Okay, potions are my favorite. Drink one. Jump on the nasties and erase them. Oh, that's cool. All right. Don't mind that. The ability to actually kill some enemies would be nice. And yet again, you know, we're seeing the same enemies, but now we're seeing them evolved into the Nintendo. Nintendo era graphics. Oh, okay. Bit of a challenge there. I like a challenge. I like a good challenge. Uh, I gotta go sooner on that. Oh, you can push it. Uh, there you go. I'm brilliant. Figured it out totally by accident. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say I need to push this over here. And let's see, do I need to push this over here? I don't know. Maybe so. Oh, star block. Potion. Oh. I want my cherries. Got it. All right, here we go. So I can jump on enemies now? Apparently not. Could have sworn he said, get a potion, you can jump on enemies. I must have misinterpreted that. be going over into the special area this time. Oh, bat. You bat. Alright. Alright, concentrate. Just move smoothly, jump high, look down, maybe not, look down, there we go. Utilize all of the tools that the game gives you. All right. This one, and then Super Nintendo, two Super Nintendo levels, and then we are done. Hey dude, what's up? Don't forget to move the camera up and down. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Could've used that tip in the last level, bud. But, you know, whatever. Better late than never, I suppose. like you, shooty guy. That was real close. Okay.
Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, there's nothing up here. Great. Oh, there was a... There was a collectible up there. That's right. I don't like that too much. I was gonna say if I didn't, oh, if that door didn't open, probably would have been the end of this stream. Gravity fun, okay. Oops. That was really close. <laughs> Super Nintendo, here we come. I feel like there's got to be an easier way to get to this screen than the way I'm doing it. Yeah, so we do still have the locked... Uh, locked systems here. You know, that's something to do. I mean, it gives you that uh, playability, replay, well, I don't say replayability, I guess, but it gives you that challenge, collecting all of the gems on every level. Uh, probably, I would imagine, you'd have to 100% it. I'm going to guess you'd 100% for the Mega Drive, knowing British people. I know one British people. Person. <laughs> In my life. There you go. SNES. Oh... Just every single time, every single song, just knocking it out of the park. Oh, I don't like the look of that skeleton <laughs> block. I should have known right away. I don't know why I need this thing, but I'm guessing that I need it for something. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to carry it. Look at these birds. Is that supposed to be the new version of the bat? Smell that fresh air! Did you know certain walls can be destroyed with bombs? Oh, you don't say. Well, I've got a bomb. So I'm gonna go try destroying a wall. Oh, there was a spike there. Whoops. This looks great. Some very uh, Link to the Past looking trees down there. No, I'm not complaining. I think they look great. Okay, so I'm assuming this wall... There we go. Huh, little pots. Crazy spikes coming up all out of order. Okay. I don't like you. Wonderful. You know, a lot of these songs have been fairly short and looping and whatnot, but God, I don't care because <laughs> they're great. Oh, please hit the wall. Thank you. Hopefully that's just almost automatic. If you're even near the wall. Because I don't think I could get another one of those, so... Move! Move, bird!
That was real close. So was that. Are those spikes... Are those spikes moving in a different order? No? Okay. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh, there was an easier way across. <laughs> Look at that. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yep. Not gonna make it. Oh, there it is, folks. Life a pixel. Life of pixel. Super Icon, I believe, was the developer. Six ninety nine. I believe it is. Life of pixel. Dot co. Dot uk. Steam Greenlight. Check it out. I don't think there's any justifiable reason why this game shouldn't be on Steam. <laughs> Given some of the stuff that has as of late been green lit, uh, this is a fully realized, well-made title that works as advertised and is impressive. Uh, absolutely impressive. I really have enjoyed my time with this game. Uh, I may try to make a more formal first impression video of it. I don't know, however, if I'll be able to. But I've really enjoyed this game. Absolutely. I think it is a great value for the money. I think it's got some amazing music. <laughs> just, I'm just sitting here listening to the music right now. It's got some amazing music. It's got some amazing graphics. I mean, just the work that went into this is... It's mind-boggling, just the amount of graphical styles that exist here, the the unique enemy sprites, uh, the, the unique hero sprite. You know, I mean, his sprite is very similar, but it is also uh, very different. Especially as you go back to some of those early, early systems. Oh, there's our bat friends again. Finally get to see their true form, although some might say their true form is on the Mega Drive, aka Sega Genesis, and I might be one of those people. I might be. Alright, I could probably sit here and play this all night, but eventually my weak human body is going to give out, so I better go and get a little bit of sleep. Life of Pixel, check it out. Green light, vote it up. Go purchase it. Lifeofpixel.co.uk I have been Big Dave. And until next time, take it easy.